So assumptions. Yeah, so there's no immigration, no migration, basically. So no migration, well done. What else does it assume? Yeah. Yeah, no mutations. Uh, no mortality. But they're general assumptions, OK, uh, but you can use it to um, help you work out the allelic frequency. So um, we need to talk about well, how do you remember the equation? So I'm going to write the equation and then we're going to talk about a way of remembering it. OK, so P squared plus 2P cubed plus Q squared. OK. So that's the Heidi-Weinberg equation. It's, I find that quite hard to remember. OK, so what I tend to do is split it up. Okay, so let's imagine we have a, um, let's talk about alleles. So the, the possible combination of alleles is this, OK? All right, so you can have possible combinations like that. So you've got the dominant allele, you've got the recessive allele, so you're homozygous dominant, heterozygous and, and homozygous recessive. So let's imagine we cross um, two heterozygous individuals. OK, so nice, simple Punnett square. OK, and when we can go big B, big B, big B, little B, that will be B will be right. So, how does that relate to the equation? Well, big B that is going to be P, little b is Q. Okay, so big B, big B, what would that be in the equation? Say it again, P squared. Well done. So, that's P squared. Okay, little b, little b. Little b, little b, q squared. Okay, and that is going to be p q, and that is p q. So two p q. And the other useful thing that you need to know is that um, if you have p plus q, it always equals one. All right. So any answer you get cannot be greater than one. If it is, it's wrong. Okay. So P plus Q equals one, which is useful for when you're working out um, different um, equations. Right, I've got some hamsters. I do like hamsters. Um, so this is an example. So I've got 90%. So hamsters, um, you've got M allele, which is, um, in this case, is black. Black colour. And then um, the rest are grey, so little m allele equals grey. So let's just put that so you know what it is to do with hamsters. Okay. Um, so 90% have m alleles, okay, uh, and 10% have recessive alleles. I'd like you to determine the proportion of offspring that will be black and the proportion that will be grey. So proportion black and proportion grey. <laughs> OK, so um, it doesn't give, it tells you proportion. So remember, that's a percentage. So you've got to work out the kind of um, the frequency. So all you have to do is that's 0.9. So that's 0.9 and that's 0.1, as we said. P plus Q equals one, basically. So the recessive allele in this case is Q. OK, so the as you look here, the recessive allele is Q. So that's Q and that's P. So Q is 0.1, P is 0.9. OK. Q squared, what's Q squared, please? And you have a calculator usually, sorry. 0.01, that's the one. P squared, 
OK, is 0 0.81. And if we know P and Q, so 2 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.9. And that gives you 0.18. Okay. So now I can work out the proportion of black and grey. So in this, if B P squared, okay. So P squared, which is uh, there, big B, big B, plus 2 P Q. Okay. So that equals, so black, that's black. So P squared is 0 0.81 plus 0.18. That gives you 0.99, okay? And gray is gonna be Q squared. In this case is 0.1, there you go. Okay, now you then need to convert it into a percentage. So all you do is times it by 100, and that gets 99% are black one cent is great okay so here this one's about sea otters who likes a good sea otter so here you go right i'm going to just make that a bit bigger so what proportion percentage should what it represents <laughs> right, okay, so let's go through this together. So, um, right, so first of all, the lead into this question, about everybody to listen, the lead into this question is obviously the recessive value of t. So, t equals 0 0.2. So, if I think, well, what is t? Well, t is that is q. Okay, so I've got to find Q squared. So I, uh, so Q is 0 0.2. I square it, okay, and I get the following. I get 0 0.04, and then to get a percentage, I times it by 100 to get 4%, okay? If you would like a bit more help with that, Dr. Biology has done a Hardy Weinberg. I've done a quite a large Hardy Weinberg um, video. And there are other examples there as well that you could work through. Oh, yeah, sorry. Another few assumptions I forgot, by the way. Mating is random, and also there's large population. 